A Missouri radio host goes on a cruel rant against his stunned co-host. And we're going to be playing the audio as well. So let's see. Okay, so a Missouri radio host went on an unhid, unhinged and sexist off-air tirade directed at his co-host, calling her a bad mother and saying he felt sorry for her kids. Vic Faust, who is a Fox 2 News anchor in St. Louis, ripped into co-host Crystal Cooper during an expletive-filled rant over her appearance and intellect according to audio obtained by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. The comments were reportedly made during a commercial break on September 13th on KFNS, a hard rock station. Your kids have a, you know, curse word, terrible mom. I feel sorry for them, Faust said. And a shot Cooper could really only reply with, wow, wow. And Faust also angrily told Cooper... You're nothing, and you're trash, while also calling her fat, stupid, and nasty, the St. Louis newspaper reported. Now, before we continue, there's a lot of issues in this situation, right? Because one, regardless if you have a problem with a co-worker or not, you don't basically verbally attack them, right? Unless they endangered someone's life or threatened your life, you don't go and like basically go on a verbal attack or be super aggressive towards them. Because one, that's immediately going to put them on the defensive, right? Which could, depending on who it is, could be a potentially dangerous situation. Two, the second you start basically attacking someone or going after someone, they're going to basically either clam up or do the exact same thing back to you or worse. So you got to be very careful in this type of situation. You don't want to just like explode, right? Like this sort of reaction based off like what it sounds like this was about, about basically hit, or like her potentially making maybe like a stupid joke about him being stupid about not being able to get a computer to work that like this type of reaction this angry reaction is a bit over the top right if that's actually what occurred now this might have been something that might have actually been going on for a while right maybe she kept you know pushing his buttons over and over and over again and then he just blew a gasket but a lot of the responsibility has to still lie with him because you don't just go and blow up on someone, right? Especially when you're a guy and you can easily physically do very serious harm to your co-host, right? And also, you bringing her kids into this situation isn't really cool either, right? Like, why bring her kids into this situation. It's just, see, the problem with this is a a lot of people think that they can pretty much say whatever they want with no consequences. And I believe in the freedom of speech, but there's still always consequences to your speech, good and bad. And just because this person was a ready host, Maybe the more popular one, I don't know, never heard of this third show or whatever, right? He might have felt entitled that he, like his position was safe. 
Maybe he had more power than her in this situation. Maybe he was there longer. Maybe he was, I don't know, right? Maybe he's the senior in this situation. But the problem is when you think that you are above another person, that gets into like a really weird dynamic. And when you blow up as someone that is, you know, that you view as basically lower than yourself, It's just bad, right? And the problem that this guy is going to face is that one, he probably doesn't have a big enough following to go independent. He probably hasn't saved a lot of his money that he was making from the radio show. He probably doesn't really make good choices in terms of his communication skills with other people. So he probably can't really call in a favor and be like, hey, like, you know, I made a bad choice. I basically screwed up. Would you be willing to, like, put me on a show on your radio station or something? Or maybe can I do something on the side to help you guys out on your show? And then maybe, you know, work, like, earn my right to basically be in a situation. Like, he's in a situation right now that is very, like teeter-tottering, and more than likely, he's going to be let go, right? And that's a very bad situation. Basically, his career is done, right? This outburst, regardless of the situation, is basically going to put him on the unemployment side, which, you know, you never want to see someone basically be unemployed, but you can't be blowing up on your co-host, you can't be blowing up on your coworker, like unless they are basically potentially endangering someone's life. You cannot do any of this sort of blow ups because it doesn't really do anything but negatively impact your own life. He said, "You're a bleep, mom. You don't even know the topics we're talking about." You're just stupid. Now, if this is the case, that's kind of annoying, right? If that you have a co-host that never does any research, that would be really annoying, right? Vic Foss slam, blah, 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 blah. So the crude verbal abuse apparently stems from Cooper poking fun at Faust over his problems with his computer while the pair were on air, according to the newspaper. Off air... Faust warned Cooper not to return to the show. If you come back, I'm going to be in your bleep every bleep day, he said. And Cooper defended herself throughout the ugly incident, telling Faust to grow up repeatedly. Now, Faust confirmed the off-air remarks to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. He also claimed there was background to the incident but not but did, uh, but did not explain further now this is a situation i feel like they should probably release everything all of the audio to give people a better idea as to exactly what happened but for the most part the host right faust isn't really going to be seen in a good light from this, right? Because based off the situation right now, it simply looks like a guy is verbally attacking a chick. That's all it looks like, right? Regardless of what the background in quotes might be, that's what it looks like. That's what people are going to absorb the situation as, and it's just going to look basically weak, right? Guys are going to basically look at this situation like, well, that guy's kind of weak for basically blowing up at this chick, right? Girls are not going to really like him. He's like, well, this dude is just attacking this chick, right? Like, no one is really going to like this situation in terms of their viewpoint on him. So the newspaper said it received the audio clip Friday anonymously. And Cooper apparently left the show the same day the endless insults were hurled at her, according to the Post-Dispatch. 
As for Faust, it appears his duties at the radio station are hold. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch reported Tuesday while the leaders at the television station he works for have not commented on his job status. He's been with the television station for seven years, but was not on air Monday or Tuesday, the newspaper reported. And this is the thing. So basically, this guy probably did have a lot of seniority, a lot of basically tenure in a sense, and probably believed that he could get away with pretty much saying whatever he wanted to whoever he wanted and not be punished for it. But he's probably going to get fired from this job, and it would be unlikely that maybe a television station, radio station, whatever, of the similar size or comparable size would pick him up, meaning he's going to make less money, have less of a future career, have a bad reputation, is always going to be judged, all because he blew up. Right, He let his emotions get the control over him, which is never a good thing. And the thing is, I probably bet, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, that he probably did not manage his money correctly. And if he were to get fired, it'd probably be a very bad financial situation. Because... What I've noticed is that the majority of the population is extremely bad at managing money. So you could probably guess with like a 70% likelihood, and I'm just like tossing that number out there, but you could pretty much guess like probably with a 70% likelihood, this individual, the ready host guy, was probably bad with his money, probably didn't really invest in any money, probably has a lot of debt, probably has basically no money saved up, and if he were to get fired, meaning no paychecks coming in, he would be screwed. Like, he would be, like, severely screwed. And this is why we push all the time to get people out of debt, which, if you want to learn how to get out of debt, master your money, go down below. Because when you're out of debt, and you build up an emergency fund, and you are automatically investing towards your future... If something like this were to happen in your life, if you were to screw up and you end up getting fired from your job, it will suck. It will take some time to really recover fully, but you're not going to be financially destroyed by one singular decision, right? Feel free to give your thoughts.